It was a dark and stormy night where all the thrillers were read and scary things happened. Are you afraid of the dark? Are you ready to read scary stories? My name is Lexi and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing okay and welcome to a very scary 24 hour a thon. <laughs> so, this is gonna be really, really fun because today is the start of a very spooky weekend of reading, which is going to be including a 24 hour a thon with some of my bestest friends here on BookTube. So actually one of my friends, Soleil, really wanted to do a 24-hour-a-thon, and I thought it might be kind of fun to theme mine based off of spooky, scary thrillers that take place in the summertime. I was thinking about this, and a lot of scary movies and a lot of thriller, scary-type books actually take place in the summertime, and I'm really, really getting into being a little bit scared with some of my thrillers, so I thought this would be kind of fun. So the 20 24 hour thon is actually going to be all day Saturday, which is tomorrow. But I thought since there are so many thrillers that I want to read, I would read a little bit tonight and then mostly tomorrow and then a little bit on Sunday. I'm really excited too because I bought some stuff to make s'mores. I'm going to make like a s'mores dip. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna make s'mores dip or like s'mores in my toaster oven, but we will have lots of s'mores tonight. And then I'm also going to be watching one thriller every single night and they're gonna be like kind of cheesy summertime thrillers. I have not seen any of them because I don't watch a lot of thrillers, but I'm going to be watching I Know What You Did Last Summer, which apparently is like a classic and super cheesy and super 90s. I'm also going to be watching The Fantastic or Talented Mr. Ripley or something, which I think takes place somewhere in Europe and it's like a thriller-esque thing as well. I'll tell you more about them as soon as I watch them. And then the last one is a recommendation from my friend Kaylin and I think it's called Cabin in the Woods. I haven't seen any of these. They're all supposed to be kind of scary, but not too scary, so I'm really excited. Okay, so there's quite a few books that I really want to read, actually. Um, I know that I cannot get to all of these books, so I'll kind of tell you the selection that I will be like pulling from, and then I'll tell you the ones that I really want to focus on. So I've got, let's see, two YA books that I really want to read that I don't know a ton about. The first one is With Malice, and this is by Ellie. Cook. This apparently is about a girl who goes to Italy, I want to say, for like a school trip and she wakes up in the hospital and apparently she is accused of murdering her best friend, but she does not remember anything that has happened. So we as the reader kind of figure out what happened and like if she really murdered someone or if she's being set up and it's a little bit of like a thriller. And I love that it takes place over the summer in Italy. I don't know, it sounds, it sounds really, really, really neat. So I'm excited. The next YA that I will possibly be reading from is Sawkill Girls by Claire Legrand. I know that a lot of people read this and absolutely loved this. This is a queer story and it follows these girls, I believe, who all are on Sawkill. I think it's an island and apparently the woods are haunted with something that is killing girls. And so they all have to try to figure out what is happening together. And then I've got four adult ones. The first one is going to be really, it's a really teeny, and it's a house at the bottom of the lake. And this is by Josh Mallerman. This is about two teenagers who go out on a date on a rowboat. They see a house at the bottom of this lake. They decide to swim down and explore. And as soon as they do that, apparently mysterious, strange, and horrific things start to happen. So it sounds really cool. Um, I've heard excellent things about this book, so hopefully I will love this. The next one is a book that was recommended to me by one of my friends, and that is The Last Time I Lied, and this is by Riley Sager. And I don't really know a lot going into this book, except that it is a thriller, and I think it takes place at a summer camp, I think. I literally don't know anything going into it. I've heard that this is really good, this is kind of campy, this is scary, but it's like a classic scary summertime horror because it takes place, I'm pretty sure, at a summer camp. I don't know, I think this is gonna be really, really good, and I'm really, really excited. 
The next book is a book that everyone has been talking about. I've recently heard that it's not as good, but a lot of people are super excited to read this, including myself, and that is The Guest List, and this is by Lucy Foley, and it says you'd kill to be on it, but like apparently it's a bunch of friends who are going to this destination island for their friend's wedding, and then one of them is murdered, and they have to figure out who did it because everyone has a motive. So, sounds pretty cool. And then the final one is the one that I'm possibly maybe the most excited for, and that is All These Beautiful Strangers, and this is by Elizabeth Cliffoff. Maybe, question mark? <laughs> this is about a girl whose mother disappears and she goes to a boarding school and there is like a secret society involved and basically she's trying to figure out what happened to her mom, why her mom disappeared, and then she has all the stuff involving the secret society. I have heard that this takes place in the summer, but maybe I'm wrong. It says one summer day, so I'm, I think it takes place in the summer, I don't know. Secret societies, disappearing parents, it just sounds really like intriguing and interesting so I think I'm really gonna love it and I'm probably the most excited for this book. So there's a lot of books here uh, that I'm really excited for. I pulled all of the like summary thrillers. I think the way I'm gonna try to do it is this. I think I'm gonna try to read this book first and then this book. So I think I'm gonna try to work on both of these tonight. And I think my first movie is going to be Mr. Ripley because I think that one might possibly take place actually in Italy. And I think that'll pair really well with With Malice. So that's what I'm going to shoot for tonight. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna try to read Riley Sager and I'm going to try to watch either the cabin one or the I Know What You Did last summer. I feel like either one will go. And then I'm going to possibly end this with all these beautiful strangers by Elizabeth because I'm the most excited for this one. I don't know. So I feel like it'll build like anticipation and stuff. I think this one's going to be really good. I saw that this was a recommendation from Kayla over at Books and Lala and I really trust her recommendation. She's like really fantastic and she's got impeccable taste. So if any of these like don't work out or I'm not feeling it, I will then reach for these two. But anyways, those are the books I will be reading. I am so excited. I think I'm actually gonna start with this one just because it's really short and I think that it's gonna hook me right away. I also think that I'm going to kick things off the right way uh, with getting a McFlurry because it's summer and it's hot and I want ice cream at all minutes of the day. So I'm gonna get a McFlurry and then I'm going to start on a house at the bottom of the lake, a lake. I keep saying the lake. So, okay, I'm excited. Let's get our scare on. Also, let's get our ice cream on. I am so hungry. Guess where we are? It's here and I'm so excited. So I've got my McFlurry and it's an Oreo one and I'm really excited. I think I'm going to start reading The House at the Bottom of the Lake. I'm excited. Let's go. This game. You apologize. Always say that you're sorry. But why does it feel the same? I used to keep my cool. But when it comes to you, I do whatever you want me to do. I used to keep my cool. finished this book a house at the bottom of the lake and that was 
a wild ride. You know what this felt like? This felt like I was watching a Twilight Zone episode. It was a short burst of tension the entire time. Like it felt like I was holding my breath almost but nothing seriously, seriously scary happens. This is actually gonna be a book that a lot of people like if they are interested in magical realism, surrealism, whimsical, magical type things. Like this is your book. I thought that this was deeply unsettling, but also satisfying. It's funny because actually it could also like fit very nicely for a metaphor for first love and for a first relationship or for summer love. I don't know. I just feel like there is a lot of symbolism in this book while also being like a short novella horror story. But like horror, not as in like thrasher, more like a suspenseful like what is happening. I have no clue what's going on kind of a deal. I thought it was really, really good. I really, really enjoyed it a lot. So I guess that's one book down in this in this series of reading thrillers. I think I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna make myself some s'mores. My friends and I have been chatting and I know for sure that I'm gonna be watching a scary movie tonight with Kaylin and um, I'm really excited. I think we're gonna watch Mr. Ripley's because I am going to be starting with Malice tonight and with Malice is the thriller that is in Italy and I think Mr. Ripley's is in Italy so they'll go really well together. So I'm hoping to watch it and then it'll put me in the mood for this book because I don't wanna not read for the rest of the night. I'd like to watch this movie and then hopefully read like a little bit into with malice tonight i've heard that mr ripley's is scary but it's not too scary it's also based off of a book so i probably should have read the book but that's okay let's go ahead and make some s'mores and then let's watch a scary movie with our friends <laughs> hopefully it's not too scary though because i genuinely am like the biggest baby I've just finished watching The Talented Mr. Ripley. I sat with Kaylin and it was so much fun to go back and forth. We just talked the whole time. It was one of the most aesthetically beautiful movies I've ever seen. Cause it was, I don't know when it's, it was supposed to have taken place, but like I loved all of their outfits and I loved like the sailboats. I loved that everything was in Italy. It made it like more fun to watch because the music was beautiful the actors were incredible jude law was in it and he was amazing matt damon that was like one of his strongest roles like deeply unsettling it was scary but in i think a way where it was still enjoyable for me to watch but basically it's about this man mr ripley who kind of like pretends to be somebody else and he's like a total psychopath I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun talking about it with Kaylin and it was just scary enough so that I was scared, but I wasn't like not enjoying myself. I don't like it when things are so scary that I don't enjoy myself. Like I'm a baby when it comes to scary movies. But anyways, so now I think what I'm gonna do is get into some pajamas and take off all my makeup and read a little bit of With Malice. However, I am a grandma and <laughs> I go to sleep super early. So I'm probably only gonna read like the first chapter of this. So this is probably where I will say good night for now. I'm gonna read a little bit more of this. And then tomorrow the 24 hour thon starts and I'm really excited for the 24 hour thon with my friends. So uh, I guess I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.
It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep Cause I'm not tired I'm thinking about the days we used to shine When we were young I told you that we should start a band And reach for the sky It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep I'm just not tired I can hear the raindrops falling It's cold outside And I kind of feel like calling But it's too late now I just miss you I just miss you Such a constellation wreck No, you'd agree Made a reputation for ourselves at age 18 Hello! So I have just finished with Malice and I thought it was really interesting. I, I think the best part was the location and I also really loved the ending. I feel like Eileen Cook did a really interesting job kind of making the ending really twisty. I also really just enjoyed the general like unraveling of this case and trying to figure out what actually happened. Yeah, I feel like the story was really satisfying. I am sad because like even though it took place in Italy the entire time like we didn't actually see anything like Italian really and so I didn't it didn't feel like as summery as I wanted it to but it did feel really interesting and it was a really fun thriller I think so if you're looking for like a YA thriller that's gonna grab your attention I thought that this was really really good so when I come back I will probably start the Riley Sager book but also I'm going to be watching another scary movie tonight and I'm really really excited about that but why are we in the car well let me tell you we're getting a McFlurry yes the theme for the summer apparently is McDonald's McFlurry because I am McLovin it so that is it for my update basically I enjoyed the book and I'm really excited for the McFlurry so let's go get that come back possibly watch a scary movie and then start Riley Sager's book. Let's go. Okay, so I think I'm gonna watch um, I Know What You Did Last Summer with Allie. I've never seen it. I know it's a classic. I'm scared. <laughs> Because <laughs> yesterday, the one that I watched with Kaylin was scary, but it wasn't like too, too scary. It was like more aesthetic and like a thriller suspense. I know that this one's going to be like a scary movie, like a classic scary movie. But I'm excited because it is supposed to be like a staple. Like, I know what you did last summer. Everybody references it. And it has so many like really good and classic 90s actors. So I'm really excited. I think it's going to be really good. And I'm glad that Allie is watching it with me because I would be terrified watching this on my own. So I've got my McFlurry and bring on the scary summer vibes. Hello everyone, it is day three of the scary movie and book weekend marathon thing. I don't really know what to title this. <laughs> Last night I saw I Know What You Did Last Summer and it was amazing. I watched that one with my friend Allie and it was so cheesy. We had so much fun. There were so many jump scares. The 90s aesthetic was like on point and it was like one of the most fun movies that I've seen in a long time so I really enjoyed it. But I ended up not reading at all yesterday and it is later, you can't tell, but it is storming, it is thundering a lot, it has been raining all day long. It's like seven o'clock at night. It's kind of the perfect time to start reading a scary thriller. So I have two left. I have the one by Riley Sager, which is the summer camp one. And then again, I have all these beautiful strangers and I want to read them equally, I believe. But I think I'm gonna try for Riley Sager tonight. I'm in the mood for some spooky, scary reading. And I actually think, just for fun, when it gets a little bit darker, I will be attempting to read under the covers with a flashlight at night. Ooh. 
and I'm really excited about it. I think it'll be really fun. That is my update. I think tonight, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna watch another scary movie with my friends. I think tonight I'm watching one with Allie and with Kaylin, which is gonna be really fun. That movie is gonna be Cabin in the Woods, which is Kaylin's recommendation. And I saw the trailer and y'all, that is, it looks like a legit scary movie. Cabin in the Woods is what Kaylin really wanted to watch and it looks so terrifying. So I think it's gonna be really fun to like talk back and forth, all three of us while we watch it. Let's get started with maybe making like a cup of tea and then let's read some Riley Sager. Okay. <laughs> All of the snow in this winter land used to look so pretty Now making me moody In the deep woods alone with my feels Spent too much time thinking In the end you'll be with me finished watching that scary movie with my friends and it was the best scary movie yet like I've really enjoyed all of the scary movies that I saw all weekend long Mr. Ripley and I really loved I know what you did last summer but Cabin in the Woods was the best because it was also really freaking funny it was also just so nice to watch these with my friends I know that we all live far away but like being able to voice chat about it and stuff and watching all the same movies it's just been really nice it's felt like a summer slumber party it's really been just the best like I've had so much fun with Kaylin and Allie I've had fun with everyone really but it's been nice to like watch the scary movies and stuff together so that's been really fun so I am surprisingly not tired because that movie gave me so much adrenaline so I am going to continue reading this book I read the first chapter of all these beautiful strangers and it's so good so I really want to pick that one up too but this one's a little bit shorter so I want to try to make my way through this book and I think I might want to try reading this a little teeny bit in the dark just because I'm in a spooky mood. I don't know exactly how much I'll be reading in the dark because I do want to go to sleep soon, but I think it's going to be fun. So experimentation time. Let's read scary stories in the dark. Final update for tonight. This book is freaking good. 
and reading thrillers in the dark with a flashlight actually makes it scarier. Uh, surprise, surprise, right? So this is about a girl who went to camp and um, her cabin mates like disappeared. Years later, she's trying to like basically forgive herself for everything that happened and she's doing that through art therapy. Like she is painting them into her paintings. This is really weird like saying all this in the dark. She paints them essentially. She's offered the chance to go back to this camp as an art instructor and she decides to go back and try to figure out what really happened to her friends that year and it's just like the atmosphere in this book is spot on it's so good i might be a little freaked out i have to say i'm probably gonna end it here tonight and then i will update you in the morning hello everyone it is the end of the 24 hour a thon slash thriller summary three-day weekend reading thing <laughs> Again, what the heck do I title this? I don't know. I just wanted to wrap up all of the books that I read, starting with The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager, because I don't think that I had gotten very far in my last clip, but I read the whole book and it was great and I loved it so very much. And in fact, if I was going to recommend you a single book for summer, for thrillers, and out of this video, I would say it would be The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. Riley Sager can just do no wrong. Oh my gosh. We're seeing two different perspectives throughout the story. One is from Emma when she is an adult. I think she's 28 years old and she goes back to this camp to try to teach art. And then the second perspective is Emma when she is at this camp and she is kind of going through having a summer camp experience with her friends, Vivian, Allison, and Natalie. It is so wild. Like the twist at the end, I thought was great. I thought that the twist at the end was fantastic. Obviously, I'm not gonna tell you. I think you should just read this. But basically, they always played this game, two truths and a lie, where they all try to figure out what the lie was all of the time. Emma sort of idolizes this really amazing girl named Vivian. It's just a great time. If you want some summer camp feels, if you want some really spooky, chilling feels, I thought that this was just like the best book ever. The next one that I read was With Malice by Eileen Cook. And I did enjoy this one. I think my favorite part of this was the plot twist at the end, or maybe not even plot twist is the right way to word this, but just how the ending was handled by Eileen Cook. I felt like it was really good. I really liked the suspense throughout the entire thing. I liked um, some of the twists that were revealed throughout this book. The only thing that I really wish is the cover is of Italy. I really wish that I had seen more of Italy in this book, but I understand that like, that isn't necessarily the plot of the book. The plot is trying to figure out what happened in Italy, so that's okay. But it was really interesting, and I think if you're looking for a YA thriller book, I would say go for this one. I thought it was pretty good. And then the last one that I read was this teeny tiny little book and it is A House at the Bottom of the Lake and this is by Josh Mallerman. And I know I already talked about my thoughts for this one, but just again, briefly, I thought that this was really interesting. It reminded me of a Twilight Zone episode, which was fantastic, the highest praise, because I don't know if you knew this, but I am the Twilight Zone's biggest fan. I love the Twilight Zone. I watch it every single new year with my dad, with my nephews, with my brother, with my mom half the time, although my mom I think is only into it because all of us are into it, but it's so good. I love it so much. Um, anyways, it's not about the book, I'm sorry. But I thought this was really good. I liked the spooky, creepy atmosphere. I liked the ending. I thought that this was a great book for people who maybe want more like mysterious and weird stories, not just scary stories, because while it felt like I was holding my breath the whole time, nothing really traumatic happens. Like people aren't brutally, horribly murdered and mangled. And I'm saying this because when I read a thriller, I really am always terrified that's what I'm gonna be reading about. I don't enjoy reading that and I don't enjoy watching it on television. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more creepy and that's fast, I would recommend this. I thought it was great. The one that I did not get to tragically was All These Beautiful Strangers by Elizabeth Plefoth. However, I have a really good idea for where 
here to put this book in my vlog lineup. I have about five secret TBR videos that I have been working on and that I will be working on until about like the end of the year. Secret TBR videos, if you are just really talented, like Kayla from Books and Lala or Chandler from Chandler Ainsley, you can read your secret TBRs in a week. I can't do that. If I'm gonna do a secret TBR, it takes me a minimum of three weeks. So I have to plan mine out almost months in advance so that I can slowly like get all of the books read. Anyways, all that to say, I'm gonna stick this on one of my secret TBRs and I, th I think you guys are gonna like that one. That one I think I'm the most excited to film, so uh, yeah, anyways. Okay, I also watched some movies with my best friends. I saw Talented Mr. Ripley with Kaylin. Aesthetics, 10 out of 10. If you're looking for something set in the summertime, if you're looking for that almost dark academia, but like on summer break, go with that one. The aesthetics on that were so good and I really enjoyed watching that. That was so much fun. The next one that I watched with Allie was a classic, I Know What You Did Last Summer. Loved it. Again, I would give that a 10 out of 10 because the 90s aesthetics were, uh, we love to see it. I'm a 90s baby, I love the 90s. We really love to see it. And then the last one I think was my favorite thriller that I saw and I saw that with both Ellie and Kaylin and that was Cabin in the Woods. And I would say that was my favorite because it was scary but it was equally funny. And the chat for that video was popping because it was so funny like to hear everybody laughing and saying like outlandish stuff. Like I love Allie and Kaylin so much. But yes, that was it. Thank you so much for Soleil for uh, randomly being like, hey, does anyone wanna read books with me this weekend? Cause that is what brought this all on. So please go and check her channel out. Go check out Allie, go check out Kaylin, go check out Liv. I love Liv. Um, I love all my friends, they're all amazing. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you with my whole entire heart. And until next time you guys, keep your head in the clouds and your heart in a book. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye. You know that I'ma keep it cool With you I feel like breaking rules On the edge looking out with no parachute you know I'm dreaming about us too Playing 